In today's podcast, we're going to be going over the, uh, the Tenth Amendment to finish off the uh, Bill of Rights. But before I want to uh, ask anybody who's interested to become a patron uh, for my uh, podcast, uh, you just go to www.patreon.com slash challenge history. And we have levels uh, of that break down at one dollar, ten dollar, twenty five dollars, fifty dollars, and a hundred dollars. And once you join with you'll see the different levels and what the benefits are. Uh, when you get up to uh, near the hundred dollars you'll be able to uh, pretty much have access to uh, they'll have access to uh, have automatic priorities of uh, any topics that you want. Um, fifty dollars uh, has the level of uh, being a prime level, and then it goes down from there uh, to the levels down to the base level. Um, later on, I'm thinking about having uh, once I can establish uh, a level of uh, being able to establish a level of income and get some uh, get a few people on it. On the fifty and hundred dollar uh, levels, we're going to be doing uh, uh, giveaways of uh, vintage uh, coins. I will do that through uh, coins that will be bought from uh, AP Max. This will be uh, it'll either be uh, coins that'll either be silver or gold. With it, I'll probably do uh, silver for the. Fifty dollar level gold for the uh, hundred dollar level. Obviously, they're not because they are coins. They're not going to be the. Uh, they're not going to be from the. Uh, uh, a whole one ounce. Whether they're going to be so much, sm they're going to be smaller than an ounce. But uh, there'll be like one winner picked within those uh, levels. Uh, and I'll probably pick. Uh, uh, de depends on how many uh, people I get with it. Uh, that will determine the amount of uh, uh, contests that I do for those levels. But those will be uh, for different people, and it's not just going to be like a vintage coin. We're not we're not talking like something like within uh, within like the. Uh, Century or something. I'll pick something like we're talking uh, something like an older coin, like a like I'll try to get something like a Byzantine or something of that level, or something or or within an older uh, within something that would be uh, something like a cool coin to have. Uh, when you talk about the uh, ten twenty five dollar levels, uh, I might do something. Uh, if I get a bunch of people, I might do like one coin uh, during the whole year, and then the base level, there might be like if there's a if there's a bunch of people with that, I might do like one coin giveaway for the whole year. But that's only depending on the number of people that actually join, and it it just depends on, on what we, what we're talking about for the number of people that join each level. Um, I might change up the giveaways depending on uh, what it is with it, uh, if there's anything else with it. Um, that might be kind of uh, cool, that might be historical based. I might, uh, uh, if, if I'm not getting much with it, I might just do uh, uh, like a uh, historical, uh, different cool historical documents around the world or something. Uh, if I'm getting smaller amounts with it for like going down to like lower levels. So people can kind of uh, see that and I'll see like uh, what I can get for like a nice uh, printed qualities of those. I'll see who, who, who does that. But I will uh, definitely what it called make it uh, worthwhile for those people. Now into the actual thing. 
on the tenth of them. But first, uh, what's important is when we look over it. Um, you really need to read it itself with it in uh, so we get the actual uh, point uh, that they were, that they were trying to get across. You can't uh, get the feeling without the actual reading of the actual amendment itself. And it states the powers uh, not delegated to the United States by the Constitution nor prohibited uh, by it to the states are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. Now basically uh, it's stating that specifically is uh, as uh, basically in the Constitution as we know that the Constitution is a rule book it's not an actual uh, as it says uh, powers specifically this refers to it being an actual rule book, and this is where we know it's a rule book and it's not a list of rights. And it says the power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution nor prohibited uh, by it to the states, or reserved to the states respectively or to the people. This means that it is, that it is most definitely a rule book, and what it's, what it's saying to the states respect to the orders of the people, it's saying that in, you must look at the your respective state next for its constitution, thus its rule book, and then if it is not listed there, everything else under the sun is that uh, does not impact the uh, freedom of another person. Uh, is legal for another person to do and this is why when we when we're talking about it this is why that's uh it's specific that uh it was uh necessary for such as uh alcohol prohibition to have uh an actual amendment because essentially that was already a right to the people any such substance must be uh uh, have an amendment to ban it and it needed to be ratified by the actual states themselves this was very very important and uh, very important to be understood because they needed those states to uh, ratify such a such a thing because of the rep uh, because they needed uh, it to essentially pass uh, the thing as, uh, as an actual constitutional amendment when we're talking about the uh, when we're talking about the uh, thing of anything when we're talking about like drugs now the dr drug war is essentially not constitutional now we need to understand where the drug war came from now the drug war came from actually was uh, a UN agenda most people don't realize this much like the same thing as the Paris Climate Accord uh, and other things like that. It was it was no different. And what it was basically doing was uh, it was impacting certain people for their sales of goods because uh, such things as uh, hemp could essentially take the role of much of what timber could take over, and that was one of the aspects. Plus, the fact is is they had this idea with, that there was a major fear over what uh, this was going to do to the people if they were using and uh, much the same idea of what they had on alcohol. It was the same, virtually the same group of people uh, as it was originally. The, initially it was uh, from the progressive uh, movement uh, but in this case it was from essentially the new left which is essentially kind of a rebirth of the progressive movement and what ended up happening was you end up having this uh, from this rebirth of this movement to essentially uh, usurp uh, people's powers uh, and create a new uh, idea to uh, ban a substance, but in this case doing it uh, without uh, the actual constitutional process, you have then created essentially a war on drugs which is uh, not only unconstitutional but also very costly. 
and this is why if we've actually respected the Tenth Amendment, you would have, uh, you would actually understand that when uh, we have states that have actually made it uh, made it legal, which is number one, that that's that would essentially be uh, would essentially override it. Number two is we also we also do not have any federal constitu uh, federal uh, constitutional amendment in which is banned such sub uh, such substances, and it doesn't matter. Uh, and this is why we go with the idea of making arguments from uh, reason over feelings. Now it doesn't matter what your feelings say, because you need actual reason. Because if you cannot make the argument of reason and state that you're doing you're doing things constitutionally it doesn't matter and you cannot take things out of context to assert your feelings and this is the, this is what the whole war on drugs has been was they took things out of context of the constitution to uh, give validation for their feelings and that's what ends up happening and uh, people essentially go to jail for doing nothing for doing a nonviolent crime now essentially if you're not commit if you're not committing uh, a violent act and you're not taking away from the liberty or freedom of someone else you've essentially have done nothing wrong I mean you have the right to essentially destroy your own self and that's the whole point and that's why it says right here the powers, powers uh, not delegated to the United States by the Constitution nor prohibited by the states are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. Now this means that unless there is a constitutional amendment banning such a pro product from either A, your, uh, the federal, uh, the U.S. Constitution, or B, a state constitution, you are not... Uh, you are essentially not uh, supposed to be harassed by any such measure. This is why most states are actually legalizing the substances for that purpose. Because they, they realize the constitutional uh, issues. And the result is, they realize that the uh, end result is lower crime to begin with and they're pulling people out of jail that really had no business being in jail thus you're not getting these hardened you're not creating hardened criminals from something that didn't uh... did not uh... need to be a hardened uh... criminal to begin with and this is why we look to the tenth amendment this is essentially where we uh... what we call states rights and it's not just states rights it's also the rights of the individual as well and this is where we uh... why we assume that uh... Why we make the assumption on the thing, and actually the correct assumption, that uh, nothing in the Constitution is a collective right. There is no collective rights in the Constitution. The uh, the only rights that are actually uh, uh, made out there are individual rights. When it, when it's making reference to the states with it, it's making basically references to the actual rule book itself, and this is just this in basically a step ladder of power and it's basically stating that uh, that's the next level of, of power uh, essentially up and it's meant to actually scale up uh, when you have the power the, basically the least amount of power is supposed to be in the top the highest amount of power is supposed to be in the in the bottom essentially the people and that's the sole purpose of the actual government uh, system because if you start to reverse it like we've gone what's going to happen is you end up getting a tyranny and that's the same thing as a uh, as what you find in uh, in a monarchy system to where they can make uh, changes and uh, legislation from the actual executive and that's no different than what monarchies do and essentially people are uh, beholden to the monarchy and the monarchy can do whatever it wants regardless if it's a figurative monarchy such as what they have in Great Britain uh, where the Queen can essentially shut off streets just to exert their power which is actually done every year or if it's in the case of uh, more uh, 
more actual traditional uh, powerful monarchies such as the case of uh, like they have in Saudi Arabia where they have full control over things like legislation uh, and the way things are actually done in the country to where they can actually uh, enact and change things uh, in the way the actual countries run and from actual social change and all and basically allow or ban certain uh, practices and this is what ends up happening and it makes one person essentially uh, uh, have immense power over all actions of individuals and it creates the same thing when you were talking about uh, any type of Marxist system essentially that's nothing more than uh, the same situation as a Marxist uh, leader doesn't, talk, doesn't matter if we're talking socialism or communism uh, because you're doing the same thing this is why we created a system like this in which we wanted the people in uh, we wanted the individual to be more powerful than the state and that's what uh, we're talking about by making these specific statements in this uh, last one which essentially is just creating the hierarchy and why we're talking about uh, all the rights going to the people that are not basically listed in these uh, rule books and even with these rule books we're talking that uh, those rule books are still binding those uh, uh, are still binding those states and those and the federal government down to those specific uh, rules and they have to stay very very strict to them which is still uh, being uh, which is still limits to what they can do and uh, stating that they cannot go outside of those bounds and if they do that they've uh, that they've violated those violated that with that rule book and what they're doing is unconstitutional and it's a very very direct uh, interpretation that one must take one can't say oh it's a we need to view it as a living document because as we stated uh, a couple days ago because yesterday was kind of uh, messed up a little bit uh, as I explained in my previous video uh, there was a live stream that's uh, when we look at the Ninth Amendment it it definitely uh, blows apart the idea of it being a living document and it would and it basically shows that uh, there's no such thing as collective rights it's just no no such thing as this being a living document and it blows that apart uh, in such an idea that's uh, that it was uh, it's very very deliberate that it's meant to be viewed in a very very direct manner and be read very very directly um, and that it's meant to actually read as an actual rule book and it's that this is not equal to, uh, when they state Bill of Rights it was not necessarily meant to be a bill of actual rights but uh, but more of actually an extension of the actual constitution of what they sh uh, of in in a matter of rights uh, what they should not be doing to your rights and that's that's merely what it was it was not equal to uh, to a thing such as a bill of goods like when you order like when you make an order of something and they list the actual parts within the order this is a much different uh, thing this is actually listing uh, okay here are pure rights that the government is most likely to abuse okay here's the things with that we have with it government uh, shall not do this 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 and this and it keeps listing all the way down that the way the government is going to try to do these things and this is the way it keeps listing now if it were just rights it would never make any mention of government if this were just a list of rights and it would state at the bottom this is not an uh this is not an end of the list of rights if it were to be a uh true uh just bill of goods of rights and this is why we know that this is an actual uh 
this is an actual uh, uh, continuation on the actual rule book itself. It just does so in a little bit of a different way. When we look at the actual constitution, it, it clearly uh, reads like an actual rule book, and you'll see, you'll see that specifically. When we start looking at on the constitution side, you'll actually be able to uh, see that specifically when we start going over just looking at the point of taking in section, uh, taking in uh, article one, I believe it's section eight. And you can see specifically it just starts listing uh, powers of the legislature. And this is something very, very specific. And this is how we know this, uh, the actual uh, constitution itself is merely a rule book. And this is why when it says the powers not delegated to the United States by the constitution, nor per prohibited to it uh, by the states are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. It's basically trying to state that the, that the states have their own powers and those those not stated to the states within their own constitution are basically reserved to the people. <clears throat> Anything else. And those are very, very specific. And you need to be very, very specific in how these things are done. If you don't, uh, then guess what? You're going to uh, essentially, uh, uh, if you don't, uh, if you only list a few uh, different, the, the least number of powers you listed for your state, which which means you're not going to have many powers in the state, uh, the, uh, but those things are going to have to be obviously voted on within your legislature to uh, when it was founded or any additional powers are going to have to be added and these things are going to have to be by uh, whatever type of majority whatever type of uh, uh, vast majority vote to get that to that point of adding it to the Constitution and being signed into the Constitution itself which is going to be very difficult to amend at this point in many cases unless it's something that is going to be very, uh, a unanimous thing. And most often it would be something that would be uh, on the level of, of a point that would be uh, completely uh, liberty-based because it would have to be something that, most of the, that a vast majority of the people in the state agree with to actually get to that point. Now there's going to be certain cases to where you're going to have a state go one way or the other uh, politically that it might have those those cases but that's very very rare. <clears throat> but when it comes down to it is your is anything not listed under those things that's nonviolent uh, and basically not uh, intruding on the rights and liberties of everyone else goes under the idea of the rights of the individual. And that that's why it's specifically writ, uh, written in this manner. And that's what a lot of uh, people that don't follow the Constitution don't understand. There's a lot of people who are, who basically re uh, view the Constitution as a living document. Uh, people like Ruth Bader Ginsburg views it like this. So they basically, uh, uh, other people like, uh, John Roberts view it as a living document and what they do is they see things that just aren't there and they'll basically they'll add on powers that just don't exist such as they'll go into rewriting legislation that that uh, is not their power and they'll go into when it comes down to uh, uh, liberty based issues they tend to side with government only in rare cases will they side against it when there's an actual real serious grievance in that area. Traditionally, these people are either political in nature or they tend to be, uh, or they tend to be pro-government in nature in what they do. So what ends up happening is you get people that'll vote and they'll vote for basically what's either A, popular, or B, what's, uh, in the best nature for the government to grow itself 
and that's the whole point and you'll find what's uh, in the best nature for that this is why it's, uh, you found it's uh, such things as DOMA being voted in two different ways by Ruth, B Ruth Bader Ginsburg and this has been noted before by me now if uh, now if you're talking you need to be consistent on the Constitution is the uh, is there should have DOMA should never have been uh, allowed as being constitutional because it disparages on the rights of certain individuals and there should not be any de declaration of what the definition of, of marriage is they because essentially you're uh, essentially it becomes a violation of the uh, First Amendment under the uh, especially when it comes to uh, uh, when uh, the making the laws respecting uh, the establishment of religion or the free exercise thereof with it now if a religion uh, states that uh, that gays can get married under their church then would then uh, and there's certain ones that say no well that means you have a discrepancy there and there's also going to be ones uh, there's also going to be essentially an issue of freedom of speech with it because that goes into the idea of expressing oneself goes into the idea of their speech because it's not just uh, uh, what they actually say out of their mouth it's it's there's other issues that actually go into that point and this is one of the major issues that need to be brought up and this is why you cannot vote you when you vote something like that you need to essentially vote it down because that's not an issue that the government needs to essentially be involved in this is essentially a personal issue that the government has no right to essentially involve itself into now other issues are such as uh, gun control well when we look at the second amendment we look at it in a very very direct manner we see that people basically that are pro-state their pro big government are going to essentially vote for uh, allowing more gun control and we uh, even the Heller versus DC case essentially you had people essentially they were voting on the side that say that people have no right uh, to bear arms essentially completely against the Second Amendment and that included uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg now this is a person essentially that's supposed to uh, be the last line of defense for uh, upholding the Constitution and she essentially voted on the side that, that the actual decision was stating that people do not have the right to defend themselves now this is essentially not only a set not only uh, violating the uh, not only essentially violating the basic standard of the Second Amendment she's saying essentially that this Second Amendment right here does not exist it is non-existent now you can see right here it is right here it states it right there this is where uh, and it's there specifically because uh, uh, it's meant to limit the powers of the government it this is why we go over that point and and there's other powers of the people that they have and that's why we have them there that, that the people have more powers and the government does not have any po more powers than the states here the government's powers are limited to what it it says the government cannot do under these uh under the amendments and then the government's powers are specifically listed in what it states in the uh in the constitution itself and that's what needs to be understood and that's why we have the points of the 10th amendment now if you like this like subscribe click the notification bell uh send it all the way around social media to your friends and everyone else see if uh if you can't get them to subscribe and uh see if you can't get them interested in my uh patreon because that would really help uh all the information is going to be down below here and that's about it uh uh bye everyone